Drills are the most commonly used tools for creating holes. Short spotting drills are used to create shallow conical holes, preventing longer drills from wandering off center. Frequent retracting known as peck drilling helps clear chips. Screw machine drills are much shorter and can drill straight, accurate holes without spotting. Programming a CNC machine to drill holes is simplified with the use of can cycles. The table and spindle initially traverse to the starting position of the first hole. The G81 command, followed by various parameters, initiates the can cycle. G81 is a modal command, meaning it stays active until another command cancels it. Drilling additional holes only requires specifying new coordinates. Drilling into an angled surface requires spot facing using a center cutting end mill. After spot facing, a standard drill can be used. Chucking reamers are used to enlarge pre-drilled holes to very precise diameters. Slow speeds as well as coolant or lubricant should be used. Power tapping is a fast way to tap holes on a conventional machine equipped with a quill and a three-phase instant reversing motor. Synchronized rigid tapping on a CNC machine is accomplished using the G84 can cycle. Helical boring with an end mill is an economical way of creating larger holes. Deeper holes can be made using a boring head. The adjustable twin cutter unit shown here is used to enlarge pre-drilled holes. A finished boring head holds a single adjustable cutting edge for the highest precision and the smoothest finish.